Hiya, welcome back to the channel. So we're in the C1, and I've already made a version of this video in the past, but it wasn't very scientific. And um, I'm gonna try and make a better version of it, which involves actually doing some scientific measurements. Um, so what I did was, is I cut an all in the bonnet and stuck out a ram air filter, and it seemed to have a dramatic effect, way more than I ever could have expected it to. Um, and it was sort of unbelievable by looking at it, actually. So I aim to do it again. I mean, the car's been modified since then. It's got remarked different injectors, all sorts of other shit. Um, and I want to see if the same air filter makes any difference again. Um, so first, I need to go and get a pre... Well, with a standard air box on, I what's on it now, which is a, a k and from another video, and get a baseline to, to compare it to. But first, what I do need to do is I need to set the baffle out of the exhaust because I have got... A restrictor baffle in there, not a restrictor, a sound deadening baffle in the exhaust, which is going to restrict it a bit. So I'll go and pull that out first. Yes, and just like that, we've now got um, a race exhaust system, super free flowing, race tuned exhaust system. So let's go and see. Well, let's go and see how it is. So I'm going to do a quick test on the shitter, a third gear pull. And before I do, I'm going to explain what's what. Obviously, you can see in front of it, we've got a speedo. Now, that is going to be two. Measure. Maybe it's accurate, maybe it's not. Um, but we can compare the two, and they'll both be inaccurate in the same amount. So it'll give us a good representation of what's changed. The other thing is, if you look at this, is live data on a diagnostic scanner. And um, we're looking at the map sensor, which is kilopascals. Now, 100 kilopascals is what is around us in the air. If I turn the car off now, it shouldn't be 100 kilopascals. This is at 31, so it's at negative pressure. Throttle body's shut, it's going to be at negative pressure. Car's ticking over. Um, when I'm doing the run, I want that to be as high as possible. With the throttle wide open, the more air that's in there, the higher that is. If it goes above 100 kilopascals, then we've effectively got actual boost. As you can see that isn't particularly fast but as i said it is uphill but i will be testing this in the same location so this will be uphill as well um so to fit this well if you want to fit one of these to your citroen c1 i go 107 then you're better off watching the previous video because it's going to be different to this one because if anyone's noticed in my videos i've got a plate riveted to the bonnet and that is from the hole that i cut originally so i'll just carefully drill these rivets out i don't need to cut anything it should fit so i'll just carefully drill these rivets out on hammer drill yeah. so that is removed we have a perfectly positioned door but in the way there is an air box which also needs removing and that should be also quite easy to remove yes and off the air box i do need this part so I'll just carefully remove that from there and then put it on here like so and then this this just goes in really well as you can see just got to nipple it into there and point it forward like so, which is not stupid at all. I mean, it's, it's perfectly wedged on these quite delicate and sensitive coil packs, but it should be okay. And, uh, I mean, the engine mount will move a bit, but, I mean, I've, I've, I've solidified the one that moves, so maybe it won't move at all, actually. Um, so now when I close this, we have 
a Ram Ur intake. Now it is installed as per manufacturing specifications and guidelines. It's time to go and test it, but first let's see what it sounds like. Yes. As you can hear, induction raw equals power. But let's go and find out how much power. Now, I am actually a qualified and calibrated dyno, so I'll be able to tell if it's more powerful or not, even before I put the side by sides up, which I will do at the end. But just now, even driving it normal from like 30 miles an hour, it's got like that's third gear. It's just, it's just more, it's definitely got more throttle response. There's no, it, it's not even like, it's not even like a little bit. I mean, it's got quite a bit more throttle response. And I know it sounds like bullshit because, you know, people put air filters on and then people laugh at them because it doesn't do anything. But this has definitely got a bit more throttle response. And, well, when we put the side by sides up, it'll probably prove that it's made no difference whatsoever. So I'll wait for that at the end. But yeah, let's go and test it. As you can see, that made loads of difference, or it made it exactly the same. I don't know, not put it side by side yet, I've not looked at it. But what I can say I noticed is that the map was up by about four kilopascals, I think it was. So that is an improvement, but we didn't see boost, which I'm quite devastated about. Didn't expect to, but I'm still quite devastated about. Um, also, my calibrated inbuilt dyno, as I said, I identify as a dyno. So my calibrated inbuilt dyno was saying that it was producing um, a direct positive correlation between speed and power um, and what I noticed was is that as the speed went up by 10 miles an hour I gained 1 horsepower so by 70 mile an hour I gained 7 horsepower, by 40 mile an hour at 4 horsepower, y you get the picture um, so yeah anyway I think that's all for this one I'm going to I'm have to put it back because it's not practical having a big oil in bonnet obviously especially not where it rains, most of the time when it's not raining it's fucking snowing or something um, so I'm going to have to fix that but I already showed a video doing that so I won't show that um, but like I said stay tuned to the end for the side by sides which will show the direct comparison between the two hopefully anyway I think that's all for this one don't forget to like, comment, subscribe all usual shit check out my Instagram I'll see you next time